far below them in the city of New York, something like pandemonium was breaking out. A great round ball as big as a house had been sighted hovering high up in the sky over the very center of Manhattan. And the cry had gone up that it was an enormous bomb sent over by another country to blow the whole city to Smith's Therin. All air raid sirens began wailing in every section. All radio and television programs were interrupted with announcements that the population must go down into their cellars immediately. One million people walking in the streets on their way to work looked up into the sky and saw the monster hovering over them and started running for the nearest subway and trying to take cover. Generals grabbed hold of telephones and shouted orders to everyone they could think of. The mayor of New York called up the President of the United States down in Washington, D.C. to ask for help, and the President, who at that moment was having breakfast in his pajamas, quickly pushed away his half-finished plate of sugar crisps and started pressing buttons right and left to summon his admirals and his generals. And all the way across the vast stretch of America, in all the 50 states from Alaska to Florida, from Pennsylvania to Hawaii, the alarm was sounded. And the word went out that the biggest bomb in the history of the world was hovering over New York City, and that at any moment it might go off.